Hi friends, welcome back to my channel. Today we're doing another installment in the Luxury Will I Buy It series, but here on my channel we add a little French twist. So for collections that we do want, we say oui, but for collections we don't want, we say non merci. But before we go any further, let's take a second to grab our iced coffee or a hot coffee. Let's take a sip and let's get started. Thank you for meeting me today on this beautiful spring day. The weather seems to be turning and let's get our steps in at the mall. Let's do some laps around the department stores and see what's new on the market on the horizon. The first beauty news we have here is the Sephora savings event. So starting next week, there is the biannual Sephora savings event. So this starts April 4th until April 15th. I'll go ahead and do a video doing a get ready with me with Sephora favorites recommendations. So this is 30% off the Sephora collection. So the in-house Sephora brand, my, my heart skipped a beat when I saw 30%, but it's only 30% on Sephora brand. Their makeup brushes are good, so that could be worth it. It's 20% for the rouge category, 15% for the VIB, and 10% for the insider. So I think that this is a good sale. I like to capitalize off of it. I won't go overboard. I think what I'll do is just get staples, like, you know, cleansers, makeup removers, things like that. I think this is a good time to just get those basics. If you want to splurge, splurge. It's your budget, it's your wallet, you know what you need. But I'm looking forward to this. I wanted to share that with you. It's coming soon, April 4th, it's starting. So if you're going to buy anything, honestly, just wait. Just wait for the sale if you are in the Sephora you know, world and you can benefit from this uh, sales here. Next up in the generalized beauty news realm, I have a post here from Trend Mood 1 and this is that Celine, Celine the fashion house, they are coming out with their own beauty line. A new day, a new beauty line, and I guess this isn't um, that shocking. When you think of Chanel, Dior, Yves Saint Laurent, those are fashion houses, YSL, you know, those are Tom Ford fashion houses that also have beauty. So Céline is coming out with a new makeup line. Céline Beauty is expanding their cosmetics line and is now getting into color cosmetics. This includes the Le Rouge Céline lip category, Rouge Triomphe, a classic lipstick with a satin finish, dressed in gold and embossed with the Céline logo in 15 shades. A new selection of beauty products will be introduced each season, like lip balms, mascaras, eyeliners, eye pencils, powder, nail polish, face powders, wow, the whole shebang. And okay, so this says it's going to be available or should have been available. No, I'm so sorry. My brain did not function. This will be available January 2025. I thought that this said this will be available January 2024. And I, I thought, oh, this must be an old post. No, no. They're letting us know it's going to be coming out next year. So let's just take a moment to look at the packaging. Some of this reminds me a little bit of YSL. I think just the, I think it's the glass bottle in the back. I don't know if that's a perfume. Something about that packaging reminds me of YSL. I think it's the gold and the black and just the geometric shapes. It's giving, you know, very high fashion, very luxury. You know, Céline is not, like I don't own anything from Céline, so I mean, good for them, but I honestly, I don't know much about the brand, about their history. So this personally is giving me nothing. It's really not tempting me unless they, listen, if they come out, they better come out with good products. First of all, it's going to be super expensive. I don't have any prices here, but just imagine super pricey. So these better be phenomenal. I hope they're good. They better be good. Personally, this is a pretty big non merci. It's a little bit like when Hermes Beauty came out. I talked about it, but I really wasn't wowed. It took me a while to come around and then I actually do like their lipsticks, their blushes, their bronzers, they're very nice. But when they came out, I wasn't like, oh, I need to go get that right away. I was like, meh, it's fine. And this, personally, it's giving me meh, no merci. Moving on to Voss Magazine. So here we have a sneak peek of the Dior summer collection. Now, 
every year Dior comes out with like a seasonal they come out with seasonal releases and this is their summer one so we have two eyeshadow palettes two new blushes those look interesting two nail polishes lip products and they're also including their new like filter the luminous one that's like a charlotte tilbury filter but not quite off the bat when i see this like a buffet of colors i'm very excited because i love color i think it's fun i think it's very appropriate for summer summer to me screams su like scream summer screams fun colors and just just a feast for the eyes bold hues maybe shades you wouldn't necessarily wear the rest of the year however uh they have also provided swatches and i don't like what is this <laughs> Remember, like that's what the palettes look like. We have the palettes right here. Got some bold colors, looks pretty. Okay, so I don't want to look a gift swatch in the mouth, but either the person who swatched this was like terrified of actually touching the product because they wanted to keep it pristine, or these are palettes made out of topper shades because these look invisible. This looks like an invisible collection. Like, are the swatches in the room with us right now? What is this? This looks so disappointing, especially the the, the eyeshadow palettes because I love color. The, the one with a bit more purple and that light bluish color looked more interesting for me, but is this a joke? Like, is this a joke? <laughs> What's happening? It's like they were too scared to touch the palette or maybe the palette is just terrible. I can't tell. Now these are the blushes here. I love the backstage blushes. They're gorgeous. They're really lovely. And especially that purple one, I thought to me looked really promising because I just love their blushes. And if you have olive skin tone, like olive undertone, that purple is going to be amazing on you. But look at this. It looks terrible. Like you can't even see anything. But, but the thing is with the backstage blushes, they have this sort of adaptive quality to them so you really have to wear them on your face to see the full effect i i will admit that i will give them that because when you swatch the backstage blushes on the back of your hand it really doesn't give you much it gives you a, a hint of an idea of what the the color story will be but it's it doesn't give you the full effect that is true um so let's put a pin in the blushes maybe the pins could have more promise to them because it's just yeah mm -hmm. then we have a swatch of the new forever glow maximizers i haven't tried these yet but i do plan on trying them in store this looks lovely it looks like a ambery gold looks pretty looks nice looks very a little bit bronzy perfect for summer then we have some lip products we have the lip glow those are like color reviving bombs and these are going to correspond with the blushes they always do that lips with blush matchy matchy so one that's a bit more orangey like a poppy orange and one that's a bit more lilac lavender and then that tube up there is like a lip tint those are nice usually um so the lip balms are going to be more sheer again it's going to adapt to your lip ph i like to layer them with a gloss with a lipstick they are nice on their own but they're not a lipstick the lip stain could be nice could be beautiful it looks like a nice rich red color again with like big oversized sunglasses and a, a nice red lip that could be nice what else oh we have some nail polish here i love a manicure i think i would get that light mossy green the yellow for me for my skin tone is not really for me but that mossy light seafoam green i think that looks nice that almost looks like what the eyeshadow palette the first one with the purple and the bluish green was trying to do but somehow missed the mark completely so like i don't really know what to make of this it kind of looks not spectacular let's hope that we see other swatches let's hope that we can get swatches in real life but like that's really disappointing like when we just look at the first color or first color first photo lots of color super fun perfect for summer but this might be a big no merci like i might skip a doo over the entire collection here because it's just like the, 
they're giving me nothing. What am I supposed to do with this? Like, give me something to work with. Give me something. I love, I love color, but I'm not that desperate. I think it's a no merci. Moving on to a meat beauty talk. Uh, so she has photos here of the Tom Ford summer 2024 collection here. So this is a little concise collection, beautiful marketing here, golden sun in the background. So we have this Soleil Eye Color Quad 01 in Emerald Dusk. So I'm kicking myself because I did see this in person and I gave it a swatch and I have to say this palette is very disappointing. Let me tell you why. Uh, this is called Emerald Dusk. I love color, I love blues, I love green. So for me, I thought that this was going to be centered around the emerald color. Um, the emerald shade in the palette is the topper shade. You know how Tom Ford always has a topper shade that's very sheer, very light, and it's fine, but the, the emerald, the green, what I thought was the anchor of the palette is in fact the fairy dust invisible one so i'm not getting it because i honestly have no idea how i would build that up like i swatched it and it was just it was sheer it was invisible there was no opacity if you want to dip your toe into light versions of green this could be for you like if you like the neutrals around this if you like the lighter colors and you don't really want to wear green get it Personally, I'm skipping this entirely because I would have purchased it for the emerald shade. So that's a non merci. Then we have these uh, four new Ultra Shine lip shades. These are four new shades. These look pretty as well. I don't really need more lipstick at the moment. I just bought some new lip products from Chanel, the Midnight, like Les Nuits, La Nuit Blanche de Chanel. I have some new lip oil from Guerlain. Lipstick wise currently, I don't think I need it, but these look pretty. I love the white and gold. I think it looks so fresh, so summer. I think it looks really pretty. And then we have the liquid lip blush in golden glitter. I have to be fully transparent. I did not swatch anything else at the counter because I, I dove into the emerald palette and as soon as I was disappointed, I was like, no, no merci. I don't want to swatch anything else. So I didn't try the liquid lip blush in golden glitter. It looks interesting. It looks like it's one of those like adaptive to your lip type of product with gold flakes in it, <laughs> very extra. And then we have the Soleil Glow Highlighter in Nude Sand. So I'm wearing one of the Soleil Neige highlighters from the holiday collection, the Rose Irisée. These highlighters are spectacular, phenomenal, so gorgeous. It's a powder highlighter that just melts into the skin. If I was gonna get anything, I would get the highlighter because I'm not getting the palette. Mm, no merci, the lip products, not so much, but based off of my last Tom Ford highlighter, maybe this one here, but that's a maybe. So overall, it's a non merci with a little bit of peut-être, which means maybe. So yeah, moving on to Guerlain, Guerlain Cosmetics. So we have three new things here. We have the new Meteorite Pearls, the new powder brush, and then also an eyeshadow palette. Now, thankfully for me, I don't think that these are calling my name, but uh, let me explain. So these are the new Meteorite Pearls, light revealing pearls of powder, and we have four shades here. Now, the canister is new. Now, I have a canister here. This is the holiday release. Absolutely gorgeous, I love it. I currently do not need more Meteorite Pearls. It's gonna take me a minute to get through these. So I don't think I'll be getting them, but I, I just wanted to share this with you because these look gorgeous. I like the Meteorite Pearls. I think they are good quality. I just can't buy like two of the same powder back to back. It's a bit uh, superfluous. These look pretty. The canister looks gorgeous, looks so pretty. And they have one that's a little, that's much deeper than previous ones. It looks so pretty. The canister is just, it's so, it's giving spring, it's giving, burst of color, burst of light and energy. So, so pretty. If you don't have the meteorite pearls yet and you want something that's going to be unifying, a little bit blurring, very, very pretty, I definitely do recommend them. I just don't need the same one twice. They're also, they also came out with the meteorite powder brush, 
This is a new brush. I have one of the older ones, it's fine, but this one here looks shorter and more dense. I think it's gonna be even better for blurring, just if you want to have a more be like beautiful, unified, smoothed out complexion. I imagine that this brush here is going to be lovely. It looks gorgeous, love that. And then they also have this new limited edition eyeshadow quad in Aura Glow. Thankfully for me, none of these colors are interesting. Yes, there is that one light, slight minty blue-ish pearlescent color. The rest of the shades are a big fat non merci. Thankfully, because I picked up the new lip oil from Guerlain, two of their new blushes, and their concealer. I, I, I gave them enough money for the time being. I'm gonna wait. I'll, all of this for me personally from Guerlain is a non merci. I think it's great quality, it's just not for me. And I can wait, so it's a non merci for me. Let me know what you think down in the comments. Moving on to RMS Beauty. This is a brand that I have never tried anything from them, but I've always wanted to. I just haven't had the opportunity to. So they have come out with new bronzers. These are the Redimension Hydra Powder, and they already have blushes in this formula. They've simply added bronzers. and. I have to say the packaging, the detailing, the embossing, I think looks so lovely. It's a Hydra powder. So to me, I imagine that this is possibly one of those products that's a little bit squishy. You know, it's like baked jelly, water infused powder. It looks so lovely. I love that it's a natural finish, but it's a little bit luminous as well. Not glittery, but just a little bit of a soft, luminosity so it gives you that very natural flush you know you just came from the sun that very natural sun-kissed glow i think that these look really lovely let me know in the comments if you've tried rms beauty because a lot of people have and these i think i just think they look really nice i like the packaging i like everything here next up we have something here from hermes beauty i'm back on a meet beauty talk here and this is the Rouge Hermès in the matte version here because they have satin and matte. This is the Rouge Amazon 75. It's inspired by Greek mythology and this is a limited edition um, uh, uh, packaging. I think this shade already exists, but the embossing is limited edition. It says here, for the first time, the main body of the bullet is engraved with the motifs of the carriage and servant in the picture. As the stick is extended, the elegant and light horse-drawn carriage motif appears, and the rotation of the stick brings all the stylish red horse-drawn carriage to life. Okay, so as you twist it, that's when you see the motif. Very interesting. Very, very pretty. Oof, that looks gorgeous. One of those items that I could imagine some people might have a very difficult time in using, but wow, that is gorgeous. I think that shade itself looks very pretty, just like a gorgeous standout red. And that packaging, like that design looks so, so pretty. Last but not least, we have something here from Miss Lisa Eldridge. She has a new complexion product coming out, or actually is out right now. This is the Seamless Skin Enhancing Tint. I love a natural, you but better skin tint. It says, achieve a fresh and natural base with the Lisa Eldridge Skin Tint. This hydrating tint is designed to give skin a moisture boost while soothing and plumping the skin. The result is natural looking coverage with a rejuvenated effect. Interesting. The tint is packaged with nourish nourishing ingredients to give the skin a boost while creating a soft and subtle base. Very pretty. A lot of these words, sort of speak I mean, speak to me. I haven't seen like uh, your skin but better, but this is the type of product I would enjoy. Skin tint I like. I like something very subtle, very natural. This could be very nice for summer if you want like your skin but better. It says it offers a natural looking coverage, hydrates and plumps the skin. It has skincare in here as well. It has prickly pear oil, sunflower seed oil, and glycerin. It says it's buildable, but I imagine it's very, very light and sheer. This could also be stunning as a primer. Let's say you want to smooth and hydrate and plump your skin a little bit. You could use this as a primer and then go over top with something a little bit more heavy duty for coverage wise. 
I think that this looks promising. Will I get it? Not at the moment. I just bought the U Beauty skin tint. It's like a, it's a skin tint. It's very light, very sheer. It also has lots of skincare in it. So I don't, I don't have a, a need or desire for that right now, but I like the idea. I think this could be good. It's a wee for me, but just at a later time. That about does it for our laps around the mall. Thank you for joining me. Make sure to sound off in the comments below. Let me know which collections you think are worth spending your money on. Let me know what you think of a new day, a new makeup brand from uh, sometimes existing brands, sometimes it's celebrities who just decide, hey, I could do a lipstick too. Let me know what you think of that in the comments. Make sure you're subscribed because I do these types of will I buy it every couple of weeks. I also do tons of makeup tutorials and I reuse a lot of new collections with older ones. So I'll give you lots of ideas on how to use up what you have at home. If you're already subscribed, double check that you still are. Some people do get unsubscribed over the years. It happens. Anyway, that's all I have for you guys for today. Thank you so much for stopping by. Hope you have a beautiful day and I'll see you next time. Bye.